Glory be to God. Yes, glory be to God. I just came home. See, I'm not even take off my my clothes or anything yet. But I <laughs> I just want to thank God. God has been doing great things in my life. Oh yes. These past days has shown tremendously what God has been doing. To those who would think contrary, why is because they see, you know, what's happening around them. Let me tell you something. God's plan for your life has been completed. God's plan for your life has been fully completed. But as you began the journey with him, hmm, yeah, you would ask me, what do I mean? God's plan for mankind has been completed. There's nothing more to add, to put on, to itch on, to hang on. God's plan for our life has completely well, we say completely finished. But you got to tap into what he has already laid out for you. Each time when I look back in my life, <laughs> I'm telling you this few days has, has shown me some great and mighty thing. I've been in the house you know, crying from one pain to the other. Because some of you look at my face and don't even believe I have pain. Crying about one pain, crying about this, crying about that, crying about something or the other. And yesterday, on Friday, I went out. Saturday, I was out of the house. Yesterday, I was out of the house. Sally Sam, I was out of the house. And today again, I was two times out of the house and I and I start to realize that the plans that God has for us has already been completed you don't have to be asking God God what you know we don't need that we don't need to be doing that walk in the footstep of Christ to be honest truth we are, I, I don't know what is really going on right now, but it's like it's a cancer. A spirit of cancer is out there. I'm telling you, spirit of cancer has become now <laughs> like COVID. Samish Kanishet of Deutsch, bitte. You know, it's like the spirit of cancer is lingering out there for everybody. Whoever it catches it, you just hang on to it. So I, I, I'm just trying to let a lot of you know that we're in November ending actually. And December is there. The Advent season is coming up. I'm not talking about the Ember month. No, I'm talking about life. Life in general. The spirit of sickness and the sickness, that demon is called cancer. Mm -hmm. It's crapping we can catch. It's crapping who it wants. It's crapping the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yesterday, I wanted to make this video and I went out again today and I said, let me, as I come in, let me begin to speak about this, this spirit of cancer, this demonic spirit called cancer. It is grappling lives. You're not talking about COVID. We're not talking about horium, coriums, or what never home. We're not even talking about dengue, fever, malaria. No. These are other entities. I'm not talking about them right now. I'm talking about the spirit of cancer. 
no matter how you love the person. They'll be right here now. The next minute they go to the doctor, some going and it's too late. And God, now you've got to realize now that some up as have it so long in their body. A lot of us are keep saying, go women, go men, check your prostrate. Go women, get a mammogram. Go women, look up on this. Go men, get this been done. Some of you think that we are trying to instill fear. I cause trying to instill fear in anybody's life. We are not instilling any fear. It's fact. The spirit of cancer is out there. It is, it, this spirit is wild at the moment. It doesn't care who you are, how you look, whether you are, say you are most holy thou, or you're just climbing in the leather. The spirit of cancer has become a dominant right now in a lot of folks' lives. I'm looking after somebody right now, cancer. I got a news today, somebody died, cancer. I'm hearing news, cancer. My is cancer. I'm telling you this, this, this dominant spirit is taking over. And I don't know how you look at it. This is not where you go and say, taka, 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 taka. no. This is where you gotta trust God beyond anything that you ever thought you knew about. Some of you all don't want to go to, oh, some of you pastor don't. No, I'm telling you the factual right now. The demonic spirit, his name is cancer. He's out there. He's taking prostrate cancer. He become lung cancer. He's breast cancer. He's cervix cancer. He's cancer of the throat. He has become a dominant right now. And I'm appealing to every one of you. It's not the diggy 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 diggy, diggy kind of prayer now. It's the one where you call out the name of the, that disease, that sickness, that the, the Bible, it's a demonic power. Call it out. You're not where you go and tell pa and pastor, give you a little olive oil. This is not this guy now. This is where the Bible will tell you this one, don't go away without fasting and prayer. When you say you go down in sackcloth and ashes. Some of you just niam till you can't niam no more. You heat till your, your belly big like you're full of doodle on the, and you don't realize that it's pressing to give you prostrate cancer. If you want big breasts, it pushing you out so you have you have breast cancer. It's sit down in your womb because you're taking all in and out and it's giving you cervix cancer. It stretch out your throat and it's giving you cancer here in and your lung cancer. Those of you out there are taking this thing lightly. It ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. You could have taken the treadmill till the treadmill start to take you. You could have run from here down to Timbuktu. It's full time. You see, sometimes we're going to church and we are preaching all kind of things. But we're not telling some of you that your lifestyle is cancerous. Your lifestyle has, is, 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 is drawing cancer inside of it. So I'm, I'm telling you the fact, you, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, I, I'm not going to be like those who are trying to pretty up anything and give to you. You're gluttonous, you, you're so gluttonous, it's it, it, it killing you on the inside. Oh, I don't want to go to doctor because these doctors don't know anything. Neither do you and I. You don't know what's going on on the inside of you. At least technology has gone to a point now that you can, they can take some little, what you call, telescope. 
Make all kind of satellite to look on the inside of you. All the rainforest you have inside of you, they can see through it. Why are you people so wicked to yourself? You wait until you're dead. Now you're asking people to bury you. Uh -huh. I agree. Many have come to the stage that they have cancer. They have beat cancer. They didn't beat it by just lying down and have pity on themselves. They beat it by fighting. The good fight. And telling that demonic entity called cancer that I'm in, what you say, I'm on the battlefield for my life with Christ. Too many of you. Oh, I don't want to go. You're big, broad, and extra hard, Nadari. But you don't want to go to the doctor. And some of these doctors, they are so wicked. They rather they want the money before they can look after the patient. And then you call you say that you you had made a vow to 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 look after lives. No, you've made a vow to kill people because they don't give you the money. Help and you rather let them die in the waiting area. Some of you are nurses, and you are helping the doctor. To kill even your own mother, your own father, your own brothers and sisters. In the name, yes, everybody wants to get paid. Everybody wants to get paid. Nobody wants to work, just work and they don't get paid. But some of you rather the money than life. You will even go into the, the hospital door. You call yourself medical doctors nurses and you're going through the door and you see somebody falling down and because you say you have you're no longer on duty even pastors are doing the same thing you're no longer on duty you step over like it's a like it's a it's a gutter and you pass over that patient right by it. because why you're not on duty but let me tell you something the duty that you as said, whether you're swearing to be a doctor or you're swearing to be a nurse, he will catch your family member too. And that time, I want to see how you will manage. To those in the church who don't want to even go to doctor, you rather that pastors put doodle -doo oil and give to you. And all kind of thing to give to you instead of you go and check up. When you, when you know the symptoms, then you can pull it out and deal with it. Some of you, you become a pity party. Because you, you want, you want to, you want to be able to, you want to be able to, to wait, wait, wait for what? Let me tell you something. The waiting might worth it when you are when you are dead. Because that time you will realize that oh, I was waiting. You were waiting till somebody send you money from where where where. You say going to the hospital, you know, you can go there and, and beg. I believe that within my spirit. Some of the doctors, they are so hard. Not even the mountain of Gibraltar is not as hard as them. Some of these who have sworn that they are nurses. I wonder if they understand the concept, the, the full wording of nurse. You'll be dying and they, they even start talking about you. A doctor and a nurse, a pastor, whatever position you are, when you begin to discuss your patient, your dead person. I am saying again, doctors and nurses, pastors, when you call bishop, whoever you want to call yourself, the moment you started to discuss the situation of your patient, 
without even trying to make a solution. You're a dead man, dead woman. You're not, you're not, you're not in the will of God. Maybe that's why on the hospital they have a snake and this long stick. Because the snake sting you and you are dead. So when they decided to serve, they serve you on a platter so they can call a pathology to open you up and look on the inside to see what kind of food you eat. I'm telling every soul out there, the spirit that is lingering is not the Gaza and the, and the Hamas. No, no, no. It's not the Ukraine and the, and the, and the, and Russia. No, I'm talking about the one that will take you from the inside, rotten you out from the inside. That way, by the time doctors see what is happening, you are cold than ice. Cancer. The spirit of cancer. Anywhere you are in the world. Because you see, that demonic spirit, it doesn't care if you have money or you are poor. And some of you don't even know the definition of poor. 